controversial but useful Sudoku strategies, unique rectangles explained. A unique rectangle, UR for short, is often referred to as the deadly pattern like the yellow cells on the left. It consists of four by-value cells containing the same two candidates, A and B, referred to as UR candidates. The four cells form a rectangle by sharing two rows, two columns, and two blocks. And it's crucial to note that the cells are contained in only two blocks. The four green cells of candidates, C and D, do not form a unique rectangle because they are contained in four blocks. What is deadly about a unique rectangle is that it leads to two solutions for the puzzle. Here is why. If A is true for the top left yellow cell, the other three are determined. But we can switch A and B around without changing the rest of the contents of the rows, the columns, and the blocks the four cells reside in. Thus the puzzle will have two solutions. However it's not the case for green cells, when C and D are switched around, because the contents of the four blocks need to change. Knowing unique rectangles lead to two solutions, and knowing virtually every published Sudoku has a unique solution, a set of strategies were developed based on preventing the formation of unique rectangles in a puzzle. Unfortunately, some people would like to think that these strategies are not valid because they won't work if the puzzle has more than one solution and nowhere in the rules of Sudoku requires that the puzzle has a unique solution. But the proponents say that virtually all published Sudoku puzzles have a unique solution and they would like to consider puzzles with multiple solutions invalid. So why not exploit the reality and solve the difficult puzzle with these using these strategies? And so the debate goes on, not unlike that between a purist and a pragmatist. How to prevent a unique rectangle from forming depends on how the other candidates are configured with the UR candidates. Different configurations require different schemes and each scheme is considered as one variant of the strategy. Each configuration of the candidates is given a name, and most often by the type number, such as type 1 unique rectangle, type 2 unique rectangle, and so forth. However, the names are not fully consistent within the Sudoku community, and hence may refer to the same configuration differently. Confusing as it may, we shall not dwell on it, because the essence is in the logic of the strategy, not in the name. Like Shakespeare said, a rose by any other name would smell as sweet. We have type 1 unique rectangle. When one of the four cells of a unique rectangle, colored in yellow, contains extra candidates, one of the extra candidates must be true to prevent the formation of a unique rectangle. Therefore, we can eliminate the UR candidates from the cell with the extra candidates. In the example on the left, the four yellow cells would form a unique rectangle of 3 and 7 if the extra candidate 4 weren't in the lower right corner. We can avoid the unique rectangle of 3 and 7 by eliminating 3 and 7 in that cell. We have type 2 unique rectangle if only one extra candidate is contained in two non-diagonal cells of a unique rectangle and that candidate is the same for both cells because the extra candidate must be true in one of the two cells to prevent the formation of the unique rectangle. Any cells that can see both cells containing the extra candidate cannot contain that candidate. In the example on the left, both top yellow cells contain only one extra candidate 7, which has to be true for one of the cells to prevent the formation of a unique rectangle. So the pink cells that can see both top yellow cells cannot contain 7. If extra candidates are contained only in two non-diagonal cells of a unique rectangle, then the two cells can be thought of as one virtual cell containing only the extra candidates because one of the extra candidates has to be true. We will have type 3 UR if the virtual cell can find other cells in the same house to form a naked subset and the rules of elimination of naked subset apply. Subset is a general term for pair, triple, quad, and so forth. 
In the example on the left, the right two yellow cells can be thought of as the virtual cell containing only the three extra candidates 3, 8, and 9. It combines with two cells framed in green to form a naked triple of 3, 8, and 9, which eliminates the 9 in the pink cell. We have type 4 unique rectangle. If extra candidates are contained only in two non-diagonal cells, and one of the UR candidates does not appear in any other cell in the same house with these two cells, then the other UR candidate can be eliminated from these two cells, because unique rectangle cannot be avoided if the other UR candidate is true for either one of the two cells. In the example on the left, the top two yellow cells contain extra candidates 3 and 8, and at the same time, the UR candidate 5 does not appear anywhere else within the row outside the top yellow cells. So the other UR candidate 4 can be eliminated from the top yellow cells. The reason is that, if 4 is true for either one of the two top yellow cells, 5 must be true for the other top yellow cell, resulting in a unique rectangle. We have type 4 a unique rectangle. If extra candidates are contained in two diagonal UR cells, and one of the UR candidates does not appear in any other cell in the two rows, and the two columns of the UR cells, then that UR candidate can be eliminated from these two cells containing extra candidates, because unique rectangle cannot be avoided if that UR candidate is true for either one of the two cells. In the example on the left, the upper right yellow cell contains extra candidate 1, and the lower left yellow cell contains extra candidate 7 and 8. The UR candidate 3 does not appear anywhere else in the two rows and the two columns of the UR cells, so it can be eliminated from the two cells containing the extra candidates, because unique rectangle cannot be avoided if 3 is true for either one of the two cells containing extra candidates. Thanks for watching.